So right now, the state of the economy is not working very well for most millennials and anyone living in the millennial world. The 40-40-40 plan, it ain't cutting it anymore. And if you thought that you could just go to college and get a good job, maybe you're one of the few that can, but many of us, this is not working for anymore. And so many of us have the starvest, starving artist mentality, you know? It's like this idea that, we, that money is bad for some reason and that we need to, it's more humble or humi you have more humility by having less resources. And this is an idea that has been programmed into our minds by the top tenth of the top one percent so that they can keep that power concentrated to keep the war machine and pollutive industries that are driving this destruction of our planet that I spoke about. It is massively important that we change our own mindset and take the action so that we can start stepping into a different reality. So at this time, when there's a, pro a problem, a solution comes. And so we've seen with technology, all these social sharing apps, I don't even need to tell you about them, Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, et cetera, et cetera. Really, this is just the idea of giving the compensation for people sharing in their networks to them instead of us giving our networks away for free, right? So we have this moment where so many of us are searching for something and everyone knows the term side hustle these days because everyone's got to have one, right? So now we have this business model, which in the old days was done wrong. Let's just be real about that. So many people were trained throughout the 80s and 90s, and some still are, to engage with what was formerly known as MLM or multi-level marketing in a way that is spammy and weird and disrespectful. But there is another way. And this way, I like to call new school ethical network marketing or interactive distribution, or the social sharing economy, really what this is, is a way of interacting with each other that is authentic, that is real, and it comes from the purpose and the why that we've been talking about all afternoon today. So when you are excited about something, it can be so easy to go out there and just like want to preach, 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 like, hey, check this out, like I'm so excited about it, hey, I was just this conference and it was so amazing and we did all these really cool things and this product is amazing and healed these people. How do you feel right now? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Good for you. That doesn't work, okay? So, what we need to step into, and what is working so well for me, because at my first convention, I had zero people with me. At my second convention, I had zero people with me. At my third convention last year, I had 17 people with me. And at this convention today, Wild Vitality's got 70 people here right over there. Because I stepped into my heart. And when I stepped into my heart, I attracted people who wanted to be in their hearts, who were in their hearts, and were attracted to that energy, to being real. And it goes beyond that, because it's about your approach, too. It's about asking permission to share. Consent culture. It's about making sure that you listen to that person and find out what they need and really connect with them and demonstrate your love, your care, your attention. I've heard from people who had negative experiences in the past with the old school MLM systems to say, well, your product might be great, but I don't want to wreck my relationships. And I, I let them know, hey, I feel you. And I, I see how that happened in the past, but there is a different way, and I just want to let you know that what I do builds relationships. And if you'd like to know about that, then I can tell you. I'm happy to share. But I'm not just going to bombard them with the information. I'm going to let them 
ask. So this is the new way. This is new school ethical network marketing. This is being real. It's a being a real, caring, open-hearted human. And so I look at all these elements and I think, you know, I was an activist. I've been out in the streets. I was sitting in a tree to protect a grove near my house from being cut down in a place with endangered animals. And we won, but the other hundreds of acres that we couldn't be in got cut. And when we were out in the street protesting for equal rights and justice, we had some victories, but then the next politician gets into office and everything gets thrown back into question. Now, I'm not saying don't be active. Definitely, we need to do all of those things. We need to participate in creating a better world in every way possible. But it's so important that we cultivate the economic power so we are not just relying on policymakers and we are not just out in the streets, but we are actually making the decisions about how this world is run. We are buying the land to protect it, to have ceremony for these ancient plant medicine allies that we are working with that are guiding our hands to heal the planet all together. So this is what drives me, this is my why, and this is why we all are going to save this planet.